Oh, good evening. Um, yeah, so it's pretty, pretty mental weekend. It was just had, was really, really enjoyed it. Um, went to uh, the London Craft Beer Fest and yeah, had a good time. Maps good people, like you do. Jagman, how you doing? Got Jagman, Adam, and Joey in the chat. Cheers, all. How you doing? Um, yeah, good weekend. Went, went to the I say one session at the the festival in, in London, and got handed a bunch of beer. So um, Jagman's already seen most of these sort of things anyway. But I thought I'd um, do a, a short kind of um, video about them about what was very kindly given to me. So um not gonna say who, but I can say the organization. So there you go. Um so a few of these I've had before. One or two I had at the festival itself. Um and there's a couple of other bits that weren't from the festival but I've still got from when I went to Cleveland. So I'll throw them in the mix at the end. There's free beers there. Um Plus, there's still got I've still got a few bits, quite quite a few bits from um, Home Bargains to uh, to review. So there's, there's going to be quite a lot of American beers coming up in the next few weeks. So uh, so yeah, so I'll get to the comments in a minute. I'll, I'll, I'll go through the beers and I'll go through comments at the end and then finish it off. So um, so one or two of these I've actually had before, but not not for a while. Um, so I've got two bottles of this. So from Port City Brewing. They have Alexandra, Virginia, and it's a monumental IPA. Um, it's still it's quite unusual to see bottles these days. Um, a lot of things have gone into into cans, of course. Um, so this is like a three five five mil bottle, I assume. Um, but yeah, yeah, twelve fluid ounce. So yeah, an IPA. There's a little bit of floatiness going on in there, like snow globy, whatever. But anyway, these these are need to go down into the fridge because I've they have been lugged around with me most of the weekend. So, so I've got two of those, two bottles of those. Then, so uh, another one from Port City. Then this is the op optimal wit, which I have actually reviewed the one before and this before. So, um, but I'll give them another go. It's not every day I get to try these beers. So, um, and as I say they've been kindly given to me. So, we'll do that. So they're in no particular order. These beers. Um, so let me just. Um, so this is squee called Squeeze Box, huh. an American wheat ale with lemon. Now the artwork is amazing. Pretty damn cool. So this is a a one pint, one pint um, can. So and this is from. HeavyRiftBrewing.com. Where are they from? I've not done any kind of pre-looking up. It doesn't actually say on the can. I'm sure I can look it up. When I come to review it, I'll put it on the, uh, on the thing. But, yeah, pretty awesome looking can. I like, I like that. There's a like, guitar there and shit going on. So. Pretty good. There's a broken guitar, that's not good. But yeah, squeeze box. So an American wheat ale with lemon. Um 4.8% on the um, ABVs for that. Didn't go to the ABVs on these other two actually. Uh, so the width was 4.9. The IPA was 6.7. Nice look, that's a bit light. There we go. So yeah, so two of those. Which is nice. Um, second shift brewing. Um, can't even pronounce that. It's good, isn't it? Where are they from first? St. Louis. Budget, is it budget? This is the weird U. No, it's not a U, is it? It's an I, or oh, whatever. But yeah, um, 
so yeah, a Foda aged Brett beer. The ABV. I should have put the other light on really, but uh, oh, five point four percent. Let me put the other light on. Can't see a little bit better. Well, I don't like this light. It's kind of one of those yellow ones. So yeah, sixteen fluid ounce, one pint can, which most of these bigger cans are, of course. Uh, let's have a look. Let me just uh, double check. Come on. Right, um, where do we go? Hopefully the barcode works. Barcode works for this one. Bridget. That's what it's called. So it's a Brett beer. They're calling it Brett beer. Um, so fungi, tropical, spritzy, and very crushable, apparently. So, yeah, an interesting one. Um, it's interesting to see what that's all about. So, yeah, I've not heard of the brewery before, Second Shift Brewing. And it's a beer I never got to try at the festival. So all the beers were at the festival, apart from the last three. Um, this one I did have, I believe. So it's from Virginia Beer Company. Um, is there a barcode? It's not even a barcode. Seven years. So seven years. It's from St. Willensburg, Virginia. Funny enough, just being Virginia Beer Company. Um, so this is a wee heavy called Way Post. Um, it's a single malt whiskey barrel aged Scotch ale brewed with Murphy and 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 Rude Murphy Murphy and Rude Virginia malt. Just about to see that. So that's really interesting, but yeah. Um, and they actually gave me a cap as well, which is quite nice of them. Quite a decent, decent cap. So we've got another one, another one of those, which is awesome beans. Um. So we got here. So from Hopping Frog, uh, Smashing Honey Blonde, five point two percent ale with flavours added. Uh, so there we go. Again, I didn't get to try this one when I was at the festival. So um, it's from the Smashing Blonde series. Okay. Um. Of Akron, just not far from. Um, I didn't realise they were that far, that close to um, Cleveland, Ohio. Shit, there you go. Didn't know that. Um, I'm gonna get these two out of the way first. I actually had this at the festival. Pretty damn good. Boris the Crusher Imperial Stout. Uh, Nine point four percent ABV. And. Yeah, so that's going to be another nice one to try. Uh, we've got one from... Oh, two sex. Sorry about that. Right, this is Dist Hill. Dist Hill? Dist Hill Brewery. I'm probably butchering it. It's a Wild Sour series. This is their Dragon Fruit Mango. Fluid 12, oh, fluid, 12 fluid ounces. Okay. Um, stimulate, stimulate your senses with our sour ale bursting tart fruit flavors, aromas of dragon fruit and mango. But like in a blah 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 blah. So I don't know. I guess it's just um, one of those um, 
I've been quite lucky with the barcode so far. Yeah, through its sour. So that would be interesting. Um, I've not had too many American sour beers before. Normally, the price point for some of these things, it's like, well, I'd rather have another style of beers, if you know what I mean. So if you're paying certain amounts, it's, you know, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. So uh, Another one from the same brewery. This is their Deadhead IPA, West Coast style. Nice looking thing there. Um, I like the skull and all that kind of poppiness kind of thing going together there. That looks pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Um, this one's clocking in at, where are we at? Sometimes they put the, the ABV so small. These guys are out of Illinois as well. Um, yeah. Where's the ABV? Oh, 6.9% ABV, 60 IBU. So not crazy, crazy like West Coast bitterness, but 60 is all right. 12 fluid ounces, of course, but yeah. Um, yeah, lo lovely looking thing. Even the writing is quite bold with that black uh, kind of background. Pretty damn awesome, really. Look at that one there. Pretty damn cool. Right, uh, on to next thing. So from Urban Artifact, this is their Gadget, a mixed berry Northwest fruit tart beer. This 8% ABV. I've had a couple of these. I don't know if I've had this one. I've had two or three from these guys last year at the same festival. Um, but it'd be great to actually get to review some or one of their beers. This is... Um, so mixed berry, it's saying raspberry and blackberry, but 9%. Love the colour as well. One of my favourite colours, purple. So it's got that on the background, on the back of the can even. So yeah, looking forward to trying that. Another 12 fluid ounce beer. Best Buy, what's that? I don't even know what the first one is, but it doesn't matter. A beer, a beer like this is not... Crazy hoppy, of course, so that would be too bad. Um, so from, an, where are they at? Where are they at? Um, Connecticut. Connecticut? No, it's not Connecticut. Cincinnati, Ohio. So another one from Ohio, which is pretty cool. Um, so North Peak Brewing Company, this is their Havoc, Fresh Coast IPA, 7.4%. I think I had this, I can't remember the other day. Um, they're out of Michigan, these guys. So it's brewed with uh, Chinook, Simcoe, and Michigan Centennial and Mosaic. Okay, so there you go. That's quite interesting. Excellent. Yeah, 7.4. Interesting. 74 IBU. So, hmm. Looks like more like a, a West Coast type thing. Um, and then we've got another one from Craft Cerveza. Their Cruz Blanca. Their super rich West Coast IPA. There's a few of these knocking around in home bargains. Not this one, I don't think, but well, it might be. I don't, I don't think this is. But there, there's certainly one or two in home bargains as a lager and, and some a, a hazy pale. So this is 6.9% ABV. So that'd be good to get a review of that as well. Um, so these go, again, these go out of uh, Chicago, Illinois. Um, so yeah, good to try that one. Um, I think that's it believe for now i oh, one that one last one which hasn't don't need an introduction for this one but very kindly given to me because um yeah so al smith speedway stout uh this one so yeah san diego california of course um which you probably already knew so 12% ABV, Imperial Stout uh, with coffee. 
and they've got a whole bunch of different variants of, of this um this is obviously the, the base beer if you can have a base beer so chocolate and roasted malts uh, dominate the flavor supporting notes of dark fruit toffee and caramel a, hel a healthy dose of locally roasted coffee added to each batch uh, further brings out the brewer's chocolate notes and entices its drinkability. This beer will continue to mature for many years to come. So, yeah, I might I might hold on for this for a little while, uh, maybe after the autumn months and then the early part of the winter, I might, I might, I might crack that one. So, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, to, to get a beer like this and uh for sure so awesome stuff one of them uh and then free beers i've still got that i brought back from um when i was over over there um i thought i'd throw these in just for shits and giggles so i've still got one of the sweet baby g's to review it's a chocolate peanut butter porter then um 6.2 that maryland uh, i believe from Duclaw. Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. So there you go. One of those. Another one from Hopping Frog that I brought back. This was awesome. I brought a four pack of this, and yeah, um, of Akron, Ohio, of course. So this is a peanut butter hazelnut caramel chocolate cake stout. Um, eight percent on that one. Stout with natural flavors. 12 fluid ounce. Best Buy, February the 20th of 2026. I mean, a beer like that's not going to matter too much. And this one was very kindly given to me by Angie uh, Fluid Arts. It's their uh, Flying Dog Gonzo. This is their Willet ba uh, Bourbon Barrel Age version. 11.3 uh, Imperial Porter. So I've still got that to review. And that's it for now. I mean, I've still got bits and pieces like this knocking around um, to give a go. And I've got the uh, the uh, blueberry, blueberry maple stout. That's pretty damn good. Um, and a few other bits in the fridge. But I'm having a few days off the beer at the minute because I had quite a lot over the last period of time. Um, so, yeah, the, 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 a lot of the hoppy things will probably come out first, of course, the whipped beer. You know the blonde, blonde veil. You know that kind of thing. All, all the pale beers will will be out, and even like the sours and stuff. So, and then I'll probably just leave. I think there's only two stouts actually out of the whole lot. So, two. Yeah, that one and that one. There's two. What's that? That's a Scotch ale, isn't it? So there's only two stouts really. So. So that, 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 they're going to be a, a while off yet before I review those, but the rest pretty much, certainly by the, you know mid September, most of these will be had. So, um, but yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. I say it's, it's going to be a, a, a shorter stream, and then um, uh, just go through some comments. Adam saying it's very warm. Yes, yeah, been. It's been like that down here for it's never really cooled down to be honest with you down here to be honest um how you doing paul so the afro contest between us is on yeah if you want i don't mind it's um i i say so i got it i got my hair trimmed friday um but yeah so i'm hoping it's not a, a warm autumn to be honest with you if it's a warm autumn i'm in trouble um and it's probably going to be a warm warm winter as well if i'm going to grow my hair for six well more than six months whatever it is not going to be good but uh but yeah uh we've got tanner how you doing good to see you man hope you're all right uh nice beer score for you there yeah um not not bad um it helps when you know one or two folk i guess um but it's very kind of them to give me some some bits and pieces so um I'm an hour from the US border and can't source those brews. Yeah, I mean, this is all part of the Brewers Association, though, that come across to um, the free festivals currently. Um, but yeah, they they have got a presence, the, the uh, Brewers Association in Europe. So um, they they go around and all around Europe and, and 
have their own bar all their beers in so so yeah but they, they they bring a different bunch of beers every year to to europe and, and stuff like that so um, this was just a few of what was available this year so uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to some of them i have to say they are quite lucky really but um but yeah pretty damn good um st louis missouri okay heavy rift um i don't know what one that was doesn't matter um i might do an open panel hangout was just to showcase you yeah it's, it's just going to be uh this tanner um i know angie's currently live at the moment but um, i don't know who else is live i don't know um but yeah i'm sure there'll be someone around i'm not drinking anyway i'm having a few days off so uh need a break um i don't think i've ever seen a light beer from hopping for i had um that, that upside upside down pineapple cake a couple of years ago last year if i remember correctly it was i think that was a sour that was pretty mental um Akron is like 50 minute drive from my place or so. Is it that close? I didn't realize. Um, there's a brewery that I, I, I find really, I mean, their dark beers are the shit, you know. Um, yeah, you know, what are you going to do? There for like two days, <laughs> you know. That's why I need to go for longer. So, but yeah. Um, yeah, you had the, you had the stout, didn't you? Yeah, Jagman had a beer above ten percent. Everyone, he had, he had some of that, and he liked it. So there you go. Yours fucking hammered though. Jesus, I'm gonna say, but dancing. Fuck. Um, yeah, he tried one though. He had a, he had a quite a few um, bits and pieces at the festival. It's good. Uh, the pale ale king uh, changed it up. Yeah, he did. You, you, you had some pales, but yeah, there were some good beers though. How you doing, Paul? PA Brew News. How you doing, brother? Um, so yeah, I've got. I don't know if he's still there, or whatever. Yeah, some hopping frog beers. So I had that already at the festival, but yeah, I don't know if you've had that one before. Only a nine point four, so a session beer for you, of course. Um, one of those. Smashing uh, Honey Blonde. It's, again, not what they're known for. And this is one I brought back when I was over. But yeah, this one, this one was quite pleasant as well. They're the three from those guys. Um, what do we get to? Yeah, the Speedway was lovely. It's very good. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's pretty much all I wanted to do, really. Um, just just uh, a little kind of shout out. You know, appreciate them giving me the beers, you know, uh, the American Association or the Brewers Association. So chat, shout out to them. Look out for them if you're in the, in Europe. And so they do some festivals. So they're always well worth going to their bars because um, you're going to get beers that you generally don't get online unless you maybe go onto one or two European uh, websites um, and then you have to pay a hell of a lot of money, you know, with postage and shit which is unfortunate, but it is what it is without getting political. But, um, so yeah, they, they say these will be coming up in the next sort of month or so, apart from the, probably the dark beers, but, um, we'll see how that pans out. You never know. I might do the dark beers early, but I might hang on to the, for the speed waste out for a little bit longer. So I'll put all these down in the fridge and, um, so yeah, thanks for joining and watching and whatever, commenting and stuff. It's all good. Um, you'll take care. Have, have a good week, and hopefully the weekend comes quickly for everyone. So on that note, then, take care. See you soon.